Hi and welcome to this DCP Insight video. In today's video I'm going to show you my top 4 alternatives to Microsoft Office. Ok let's go ahead and open up the web browser. So the first website we're going to check out is LibreOffice. So if you've been following my YouTube channel you know that I've made lots of tutorials on LibreOffice. I really like this software, it's very similar to Microsoft Office so you can create text based documents you can create spreadsheets, you can create presentations, and you can create charts in this as well. So there's lots of different variations of applications when you download this software. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Apple Mac. So there's no reason why you can't download this software, give it a good test and see how it performs for you. The interface is very, very modern and very, very clean compared to something like OpenOffice. So if I was to choose between LibreOffice and OpenOffice, LibreOffice would be my choice. Best of all, it's 100% free. Okay, let's go ahead and move to the next tab. And here we've got Google. So Google has a suite of applications. So you can go to docs.google.com. You can log into your account and you can create word-based documents, right? Text-based documents, very similar to Microsoft Word. So here you can see I've created lots of documents in Google Docs. Now I often use this software when I'm away from my main computer. So if I'm working in another office or on a different machine, you can easily log into Google Docs and create some text-based documents. This software also operates and gives you options for creating spreadsheets, creating slides and creating forms. The best thing about Google Docs by far is it has speech to text recognition. Um, so you can actually talk and the software will type out what you're saying. So that can actually speed up if you're creating something like some blog posts or some written content. You can literally just talk and within Google Docs. Um, if you select the right options, you can simply speak and the software will type out what you're saying. And it's pretty accurate, right? It's pretty good. Also, this software you don't have to install on your machine. So any of the Google Suite applications, you can just access them right from the web browser. So if you're using someone else's machine or if you're on a Chromebook, for example, where you can't download and install LibreOffice, then Google Docs would be a good alternative. Okay, let's go ahead and move to the next tab. So I was doing some research and I was trying to find an alternative to LibreOffice and I came across this piece of software, it's called FreeOffice. So I did download and install it and the interfaces and the design is very, very modern and it's very, very stable so it runs very, very well. I was able to open up Word documents and open up Excel spreadsheets. So it's not a problem with compatibility if one of your colleagues in the office or if someone's sending you Excel spreadsheets or Word documents, you can still open them quite easily within this software application. The best thing of all, of course, is 100% free and it also operates on Windows, Mac and Linux. So I would definitely advise that you go and check out this software, maybe download it, install it, see what you think about it. I still prefer LibreOffice because that's my go-to uh, free software application for creating documents and spreadsheets, but it's always nice to have an alternative and see what they look like and how they operate. And you might find out that this software just seems to suit your workflow better, right? So this is one alternative uh, of uh, a few that we've looked at so far for Microsoft Office. Okay, let's move to the last tab. So this one is a bit controversial because we're talking about free software alternatives to Microsoft Office, but believe it or not, Microsoft also offer a free solution as well. So you can use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more for free with Office on the web. So you can actually sign up for a free account and you can start to use these tools directly in your web browser. So it's a bit like having Google Docs and Google Sheets, but you've got the Microsoft version of that. So Microsoft released these different applications that are web-based, not desktop-based. So you can just use them directly in your web browser and they seem to operate and function very, very well as well. So if you want some really good compatibility with your Microsoft Word documents and your Excel spreadsheets and you want to access them online, then this might be a good option as well. Although it's made by Microsoft, it's still free and it's still an alternative than having to pay for the software and download it. You can go ahead and use this software for free. You can see Word over here. You can see all the different options. You've got Excel you've got PowerPoint so it all seems to function I've tested it out and it works very very well so this is the final option out of the four different alternatives for paid Microsoft Office okay so we've been through all the applications let's go ahead and minimize the web browser I'll put links to all of those websites in the YouTube description so you can gain access to them quite easily Hopefully you find this video very, very useful. So if you're running a business or if you're planning on doing some coursework for university or college, or you just want to simply write a document or create some spreadsheets, then these are four alternatives for 
Microsoft Office paid version. That's the end of this video. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Web video.